welcome to another Fiddlehead Fiddle Lesson. Today, I'm going to take the tune, Will the Circle Be Unbroken? And we're going to add a little bit of fiddle variation. If you don't already know the tune, I have a beginner's video for that, a basic version, I should say, up, and you should watch that first. If you're a more advanced player, it probably doesn't matter. You can probably watch this one and easily get what I'm getting at here. And basically, I'm going to take the basic version and mostly add some double stops and maybe some slides and a few little chill, chill things and, um, and then I'm going to show you a slightly more advanced way of doing the double stops alright so I'm going to start with a little easier way of doing the double stops and I'm just going to play the tune once So, if you are familiar with the, um, this is in the key of G, um, if you're familiar with the basic version, and if you're good at that, and I, again, I have, I'll put tabs in the comments field below for the basic, but to um, add double stops, an easy way to do it on this tune is just drone the string to the left of the melody. So if you're on the D string, you're on the D string, you're going to drone the open G. So we're in the key of G, so it makes sense that you'll be playing the open G with it. And because, I'm not going to get into the theory of it, but um, the G chord, the most basic G chord is G and D together. So, if you're playing on the A string, then it makes sense that you would play the open D as your drone note there. And back to G for this one. Alright? So basically I do that on the whole tune. It's either droning the G or the D, depending on what string you're on. So droning the G, now droning the open D, back to droning G, back to droning open D. Alright? And that pattern follows for the rest of the song. D there. So while we're on this easy version, you may want to experiment with some slides. That's a really nice kind of natural sounding one, first on the A. So one way to do is kind of a quick slide. Another way is to do it almost like a half note, I mean, sorry, an eighth note early. And so without the double stop, it'll sound like. Now adding it. And then I'm adding just a quick slide on the last first finger. slide, maybe find one of these third finger notes to slide on. And that's a nice one because when you slide on the third, it's really dissonant if you notice before you get there. So when, you, when it locks into tune, being in tune, it's really pleasing. In fact, that's just something you can practice on your own. because it can be really useful in any tune. So, you can slide all over the place. I mean, even on first, because there's a lot of longer notes, so you have a little bit of time and a little bit of something to play with. All right, so you said, let's see what else we're gonna do with this tune. So I added a 16th note triplet there. So instead of So what I'm going to do now is kind of go back and forth between a basic way to do that and an embellished way. 
So the basic was. Now we're gonna do it with the slide uh, with the uh, triplet thing. It's actually a sixteenth note triplet. basic version. Now the triplet. So I highly recommend when you're adding variation to these tunes, always take it away, subtract it, see if it's working, and just go back and forth with it. It'll help you get a sense of what's working. Sometimes the variation can take away from the tune. You can bury the melody or just clutter it. So um, be careful. So it's a really good thing you could get from these lessons is to practice that way. To kind of try th something, take it away. It's called fiddling. Fiddling with it. Get it? All right. Sorry. Um, okay. You can do that down there maybe. I don't know if it works there. I think it doesn't. Okay. So I do a six, the, the last quarter, the fourth quarter. That's the fourth quarter. I'm going to add a uh, 16th note triplet to the low two there. I did a little different, sorry. Slow it down a little bit. One more time. With double stops. And a little slide. I'm kind of adding a few slides here and there that I didn't really specifically talk about and I can't help myself, can't help but fiddle around with these things but uh, my goal with these variation lessons is for you to get ideas you can do maybe do what I do but then start to experiment on your own and come up with maybe something that sounds good to you or that works better for your abilities um, okay cool lastly I mentioned that um, there's some more challenging double stops you can do two finger double stops that's the drone one, but for here, you can do two on the G, three on the D. Sorry, my light's fading a little bit. My um, director of photography is getting mad at me. Uh, the director is uh, yelling at me through a megaphone. All right, anyway. And you can slide, get a nice slide if you can do that. If not, that's pretty hard, so you may just want to first do... And then, and then another two finger double or yeah, two finger double stop. We can play the third across both G and D. This is only one finger, but there's no open string. This is what makes it hard. because it's in the key of C, you're playing a C chord, if anybody cares out there about that. Third, third quarter. We can do third across D and A string there. Again, these are hard. You may just need to practice those on your own. I'm going to probably do a video on two finger double stops soon. And then here's the first one. Again. That's a really hard one, I think. But if you can do it, then try to slide it. Alright, I think that's good. I'm just going to play through the whole thing. I'm going to use some of these additions. I'm going to do it a little slowly. 
a little bit slow, slowly, and then a little bit, a little more quickly. So here we go. quicker. All right. Well, that was pretty fun. Thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with just sort of a just random lesson, but uh, that was really fun. Let me know how it goes for you. Um, and uh, cause I'm figuring this out myself as I go along, figuring out new ways to do this, new ways to teach. I teach in San Francisco. I teach a lot of cool people how to play fiddle. And so this helps me teach them. And then teaching them helps me teach you out there too. So double thumbs up. Thanks a lot and I'll see you soon. Excellent!